Hello fellow wargamers and welcome back to Hearts of Iron with me Bubblebox playing as a German Reich in this playthrough and uh, we left it a little while ago I haven't uploaded it because of my holiday but we're back now so we're back on Hearts of Iron and I'm just going to remind myself where we are in the game and remind you guys as well so basically as far as we're reasserting the eastern claims at the moment as our current doctrine so if we're trying to land grab a little bit over here we've already land grabbed quite well we're still only on 1st of August 1937 which is still fairly on in the game and as you know in this playthrough I am trying to keep it as historical as I can depending on the decisions the AI makes of course and then after that we'll be going for the Ljubljana I think it is a ward and then we'll be moving to try to take Yugoslavia and I've already positioned my armies we've got who have we got here we've got the purple guy who is Halsa over here on the border he's got a full army down here full of divisions 24 divisions um, some of them are newbies kind of thing they're kind of green troops but he's got some nice um, mountain troops as well and some panzers uh, as, as as well in there and we've also got the purple no the red guy oh that's our friend rommel and he's got not a full complement we're going to put, put some more tanks in there we're going to get some medium tanks eventually in there that's going to be a medium medium term goal to get medium tanks and to give them to some of our commanders as well and then we've got another army over here just uh, keeping an eye on the french and another army over here just in this region here just sort of protecting that region just in case there's problems with our eastern border and we've got a, another army group here in the center just kind of sitting there we've got some extra tanks here actually which probably four of those could probably go down to rommel i guess um shall we yeah i think we can probably give four of those to rommel yeah, we'll move four of them down to this area. And then the other two will move across to here. And we'll set them up a little bit later on. Okay, now build wise, I don't think we're doing too much. Yeah, I've got i I've got as many ground units as I want at the moment. We've got just under a million units, and we will be adding to that, probably not by building more divisions currently, but by building adding to our divisions probably adding a bit of artillery a bit of anti-tank once that's been developed a little bit further in our researches but the main thing for me is to build a shitload of planes and we're definitely going to need where am i uh, i can't even remember how to play the game here we are so we're going to be building i've already started on the fighters here as you can see the 109s a uh, bit of close air support we're going to need a lot we're going to need a whole nother stack of 109s coming in to be built there and maybe some 110s as well as bomber interceptors but we'll see how that goes but definitely want a whole stack because air superiority is going to be oh so important when it comes to trying to take france and hold on to france whilst all those british planes are coming over bombing the regions there now there were a couple of comments that said why don't i turn france communist and then attack france and take it out without incurring the wrath of the united kingdom and uh, the russians and i've seen youtubers do this before but i want to keep this fairly historical so i do want france to stay part of the allies and i do want to incur the wrath of the united kingdom and possibly the usa as well because i want to keep it historical if i can and if the ai allows me to so we're just going to move time forward we'll just move it forward just a little bit uh so yeah that's the plan uh so medium term is to build medium tanks and to get a lot more aircraft i've got enough ground units but i will be adding artillery push forward the um research i think i've got some artillery and stuff to research it isn't quite caught up with the timeline just yet take yugoslavia and reassert our eastern claim so let's speed up just a little bit and then we'll see what happens so we have finished dive bombing so we'll just check that out okay so that's uh so it's finished dive bombing we've already got formation flying i definitely want to be getting um maybe ace initiative and working down this line as quickly as possible because as i say air superiority is going to be incredibly important but first of all i want to get this into war artillery done so we'll do that next i think we'll yeah we'll research that next and uh yep and then just wait for something to happen okay we'll speed time up to four i think 
Oh yes, that's to say, yeah, about France. Now, if we look at France, just briefly, okay, time's still going forward. If we look at France, what I'm going to do with France, I'm not going to turn it communist, which is easy because it's got a big communist, um, uh, big, a big communist party in there already. But what I do want to do, let's pause that a second. What I do want to do is stage a coup before I attack. Now, if you ever look at this, to stage a coup, it's 0.5 political points daily for a total of 200. We need a total of 200, so it's going to take 400 days, which is quite a long time. So let's get this Yugoslavia out of the way, and then when we kind of are looking at going to war with Poland, we're going to just defend France a little bit, uh, maybe take the low countries, whilst we're just waiting for the coup to occur in France. But we don't want the coup to occur too early, otherwise... We'll miss our chance to attack whilst the communists are attacking at the same time. So kind of that's what I want to try and do. Uh, but our national focus has been completed. So next we are going to work down towards the fate of Yugoslavia. So we're going to be taking the first Ljubljana award which might help Hungary. We'll have to see first of all. So we'll start that rolling and uh, on pause. So here we are. Memel, Lithuania folds, so that's good. So the Lithuanian government has agreed to our demands and Memel will be incorporated back into Eastern Prussia. Yet another unlawfully stolen province, province that has returned. Well, it's not unlawful, is it? Because it was ours. And there we go. We get a little bit of extra land there over near Lithuania, just in the north here. Not a lot, but a little bit and every little bit helps. So the German Reich claims Memel with German forces on their border poised to attack. Lithuania has given to in to German ultimatum demanding the surrender of an old Prussian territory of Memel. And you can see the unit sort of shifting around there between these two regions. It was passed to Lithuania by the Treaty of Versailles in the World War One, of course, but was now being reintegrated into the region of Osterpreußen. We have yet reached the extent of German territorial ambitions in Europe. Experts are doubtful. OK, so time is moving on. We are now hoping to get a little bit of help for Hungary with the second Ljubljana award. Let's move time on a little bit. Let's have a look at the researchers, how they're getting on. Uh, a little bit of time to go before we get some more researches done. Um, we've got some 89 political points, so a little bit of time again until we get those sorted out. I'm just wondering whether to throw some, um, make the communists a little bit stronger. I could do, but they're fairly strong anyway. I think we'll leave that and keep our political points for ourselves for right now. But we'll speed up to five times and uh, just to get things moving a little bit so hopefully oh slower right down a bit slower down slower down okay so japan has declared war on china which pushes up the um the war what's it called i can't remember now this thing up to 42 percent War tension up to world tension, world, world war tension up to 42%. And Japan has declared war on Shanghai as well. So it's all kicking off in the east. But it'll be a little bit of time until it kicks off in the west. Remember, it's still only the 29th of September 1937. Zip on over here, just show you where all the action's happening. So it's Japan and China going at it on the border here and we'll have to keep an eye on what happens there but back to the German Reich we'll speed up a little bit how's the research is doing not too bad insofar as units being built yep we're going to be concentrating on fighters for now I think we've got enough infantry I've got an army as big as I want it to be currently just under a million it will be over a million uh, but that's when I start adding the medium tanks and um, some extra artillery and anti-tank weapons to our infantry divisions as well. So it looks like the uh, Polish are shuffling around. Perhaps they're getting a little bit nervous over near Danzig. Um, we've got um, a modify. We can modify our government. We've got enough points. Oh, hold on a minute. We've got, we've got all sorts of shit going on here. We've got some free civilian factories. Now, what do we want to build next? Um, I think we've probably got enough oil for right now. We'll just check that out, actually. Um, have we got any need for oil? 
forgotten how to check it now. Hold on. Yeah, minus one rubber. Um, I probably need a little bit more oil, not probably too much. So let's build maybe just a couple more refineries. Just in the center here somewhere. Yeah, a couple more synthetic refineries just to get us moving. And then we can, uh, we've got enough political points to, let's see, what do we need to do here? Material designer. I think artillery research time, we'll take, try to take that down a little bit. Um, the first Ljubljana awards are coming quite soon, so let's move time along. Speed it up just a little bit. Researches are taking a little bit of time, so let's speed it up to four. So I'm not building any units at the moment. Just waiting for the uh, medium tanks to be researched before I start building more units. But what I will be doing is adding stuff to my divisions. Probably adding, I'll be adding probably some uh, support here, and uh, maybe some um, some more artillery and some more anti tanks. So. National for the Ljubljana Award has been completed. So we shall be moving on to the fate of Yugoslavia next. That'll take 70 days and we'll see if we end up in a war with Yugoslavia. So that should be good. And things do move on quite rapidly on four times. You can see this is going really fast. Oh, I haven't selected national focus. Did I not click on that? Fate of Yugoslavia. Thank you. Yes, we'll start that. Okay. Researches coming to an end soon. So we'll be able to do some more researches. Let's check these out. What are we going to do next? Um, have we still got some artillery research? We've still got the anti-tanks to sort out. Um, Infantry-wise... Nothing we can do till 1938, although we're getting up to 1938. Uh, I might start on another doctrine, actually. Um, I think we'll start on direct ground support. I think that's going to be needed. So we'll grab that real quick. Now what we probably want to do is get our planes. Uh, where are all our planes at the moment? Are they all here? I think that's in range of, well, yeah, I think that's in range anyway of Yugoslavia. So I think we can leave them there. I think we'll be able to deploy them from there if a war breaks out. We've got some more free civilian factories again. So what should we build this time? I wonder if whether it's worth starting just to build factories now. Just to get our production up. Um... Yeah, we're just about okay on rubber usage. Let's build a couple more factories then. Yeah, we'll build some military factories now. We'll build a few. So we'll build one in there, three in there, one in there. That'll do just for now. Keep that ticking along. Okay. So we've got excavation two, which is all the way over here. I don't think we can do anything else, not until 1939. Still in 37. We could do radar. Should we just polish radar off real quick? We'll polish radar off real quick. Okay. German military mission to China. Ah, right. Okay. This is, um, yeah, we don't really want to be friends with China. China. We want to be friends with um, with Japan. So we'll be recalling Falkstein. And Italy has announced some claims on Yugoslavian territory as well, which is fine because they're going to be our allies. I hope quite soon. Anyway, I hope they'll be joining in on the battle with France later on. So let's move forward a little bit in time. Let's get rid of those. 
fate of Yugoslavia is coming up quite shortly. I'm actually hoping for a war, actually, for a bit of action, but we'll see what happens. I'm wondering whether just to move the planes down towards Yugoslavia. Um, there's a lot of planes in here. Is there enough room? There is. How big is... That can take 600 only. So, yeah, we'll leave all the bombers and fighters in there. Another research finished. Into war artillery are done. So we could get anti-tank now. In fact, what I'm going to do... I'm going to let that tick around to 1930. Oh, hold on. What have we got on the art? 19th, yeah, let that tick around to 1938 and then we'll grab these uh, improved infantry equipment and improved infantry weapons, I think. Yeah, I think that's the best idea because you can save your researches just a little bit. As you can see, as long as you don't let them go right to the end. So I'll keep my eye on that. So we're on the 30th of December, 31st of December, 1st of January. So we shall now do our infantry. Oh, hold on a minute. The fate of Yugoslavia has been done. We'll check that out. Let's just start this research up. Equipment. We'll take weapons first of all. Okay, let's see. The fate of Yugoslavia. We always knew that the Yugoslav states carved out the Habsburg Empire with an artificial country fated never to last. The ethnic resentment simmering under the surface was boiled over and has boiled over and the surface state is falling apart. We must step in to rectify the situation. A a annex all of Yugoslavia. Make a Croatian puppet. Make puppets of both. So we're going to annex all of Yugoslavia. So recent territorial losses have caused fractures within the Yugoslav state leading to ethnic conflict and weakening of central authority. Germany has stepped in to the growing vacuum and chosen to declare a protectorate on the rump of Yugoslavia. So Yugoslavia is down and we need to decide what we're going to do next. So do we move on for Greece? So the second Ljubljana award or we could go for an early Poland which is Probably not the best idea. We need to grab as much land as we can. So the effect of the second Ljubljana or war will be world, world tensions increased. Get the carve up Greece. And yeah, I think we'll go for the second Ljubljana award for right now. Yep. And move time forward. Now we're going to be rearranging some stuff. Because we now have Yugoslavia. And... Yeah, I think we're just uh, probably going to be wanting to move our units up towards Poland. Um, I mean, I'm imagining that... Fr uh, is this already? Albania is going to be taken over by Italy. I think Albania historically was taken over by Italy. I think Italy will do that quite shortly. So we are kind of... A little bit of an impasse here so we're going to move time forward quite rapidly because our next target our next big target of course is going to be poland and we're coming up to uh, well we're heading into 1938 right now and i'm wondering whether to push poland right now in fact yeah let's just check out this second Ljubljana award Now we'll keep it as is at the moment, just for the moment. We'll keep it as is. Oh, our factories are all used up. So what we're going to do for our factories, probably going to start building a few more close air support. Okay. So let's speed it right up. Get this second Ljubljana award done. Research is coming along not as fast as I'd like. You can get an extra research slot with the Germans, but I haven't gone down that route, so my research is going to be kind of average. Uh, French moving around. Political points are getting up towards 150 again, so maybe we can do something else with these. So, what should we do next? Um, 
tank designer. Uh, let's do tank designer first. Oh, second loop general awards done. Let's just leave that for a second. Let's check this out. Okay, so we have the carve up of Greece. Territory that Bulgaria considered her own was handed to Greece after the Second Balkan War and the Great War. If we write this wrong, we could bind Bulgaria to us. However, if they are not strong enough to claim it on their own, are they worthy ally? Yes, I will bind Bulgaria to us. Why the hell not? So the second Ljubljana Award has been done, claiming they are attempting to ensure the peace in the Balkans. Germany has presented the Greek government with a demand that they cede territory to Bulgaria. While Greece has protested immensely, the strength of the German influence in the Balkans leaves them with little choice. The only way to avoid a confrontation with the German Reich is to allow German diplomacy to dictate their territorial integrity. So, next, we shall move on to the fate of Greece and we shall give Greece an ultimatum. Do they become... I think it just makes them... It doesn't make them part of Germany. I think it just makes them become... Um, not even part of the Axis, I'm not sure. It's either part of the Axis. We'll see when it happens. I think it's part of the Axis or Fascist. I'm not sure, but we'll see. But the fate of Greece is now underway. And we've got some more... I'm going to actually start another fighter. Yeah, I think we're going to build more fighters. We're going to need a lot of fighters, so we're going to grab an extra one of those. Let's move that up. Believe me, we need a lot of fighters, and we're going to fill that bugger right the way up. We're starting to store fighters now, which is good. We also need to do this political thing here, so we'll just... Um, what were we looking at? Are we looking at tank designer, ship designer, heavy tank, reliability and soft attack on that one, armor and hard attack, maximum speed, reliability. I think we'll go for reliability and soft attack because they do tend to come across infantry more regularly, I think. So we'll go for that. I think we'll move time forward. We've got some planes available in reserve. We'll leave them just for now. But, so, we are working on the fate of Greece. And once we've done the fate of Greece, then it's really going to start to hot up because we're going to be heading towards Danzig and Poland. So let's just check out, first of all, what happens with Greece. And let's move time forward significantly. Okay, also wanted to quickly check out how long my researchers are taking. A couple of them are ending. Elastic defences is nearly there so we'll check that out so elastic defenses helps our tanks okay good 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 so i think we'll continue down the blitzkrieg line as quickly as possible and start researching down there speed up a little bit so let's just check out what bulgaria so Bulgaria is not aligned at the moment. Okay, I assume they're moving towards fascism. They're meant to be aligned with us, so I'm just assuming that. We could spend some political points down there, but we're probably not going to. As far as Romania is concerned, I may well invade Romania um, because we need their oil, basically. So we've got some more factories done. Should we build some more military factories? Got some research finished as well. Let's just pause for a second. Ah, oh, the radar stations are finished. Yeah, radar stations are probably needed in the north and in France when we've uh, conquered France, if we conquer France, of course, to fend off those, helped us to fend off the uh, British airborne assault that will occur. Um, so we need to get improved infantry equipment next. So I'll be researching that. And then we need to build some more we need to build more factories. Um, um, with more planes, we're going to need more rubber and stuff. So I'm tempted to build a couple more synthetics. Although, when can we build more synthetics in the research? Let's just quickly check that out. 
So if we go to factories, more synthetics, not till 1939, which is not too far away. We have to upgrade our synthetics. So I might just leave that. I might just leave that and we'll build some more. Um, yeah, we'll build more factories just for now. So build. Seriously? Oh, it's naval dockyards, that's why. Factories. Okay, that's better. Keep them over here in the east. Build quite a lot. Factories going on. Okay, that'll do for now. That'll keep them busy. And let's move time forward. Heading, of course, for the fate of Greece. Okay. A couple of researches coming up as well. hope Greece folds. If Greece folds then that's it. We move on to Poland and the action will really get underway. World tensions are up to 47% so it's nearly that, that, that critical 50% mark. We've got three civilian factories again. Wow we are really churning out the factories fast here. Let's build some more factories then. Do a whole bunch. Keep things going. Uh, support weapons done. Excellent. So support weapons are done. Nothing else we can do in 1938 there. Now do I want to get any of these right now? This one's quite useful if you're in a long game with the Germans. Field hospital because it does save you some manpower. Um, let's see if there's anything else more important. Panzer threes are medium tanks are definitely going to be needed, but not quite yet. Anti tanks, we probably do need anti tank. I'm wondering whether to get them right now. Um, yeah, we'll grab them. We'll grab them now. I think. Okay, let's move time on. Just want to check out what happens with the fate of Greece before this episode ends. Got another research finished. Ground support, so let's check that out. Yeah, we can get on. We can either have ace fight fighter initiative or we can have formation flying. I think I'm gonna go for formation flying, gives air superiority mission effects efficiency 15%. Yeah, we, air superiority is gonna be so important to us once we start fighting over France. So we'll take that. Moving really close to the fate of Greece. Keep your fingers crossed that it goes our way. Got insufficient resources now. That's because we're building so many planes now. And there we have it. Let's just pause there real quick. Greece submits. So Greece has accepted German demand to coordinate its politics with Germany, effectively turning Greece into a German puppet. Cool. Okay, so let's get details of that and decide what we're going to do next because this is a turning point in the game. So, because we could head we could head up to the left here and start building the west wall and stuff. Or we could in fact the west wall is actually probably needed. Um hmm. adds 12 land forts to the French border. Otherwise, it's Danzig or war. Yeah, don't want to go down the naval side. So it's Danzig or war. That's with Poland. But it might be worth just grabbing this West Wall before we do that. Just to bolster the area with France, because as soon as we attack Poland or at war with Poland, then that's going to send world tension to 50% and it means the Allies are going to be at war with us. So we'll grab the West Wall first, I think. I think that's the best thing to do. And as soon as that's done, we shall be going for Danzig or war and then that will probably or most likely mean war with Poland and the Allies and that will be in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Fighting will begin on a world on, a, on the world stage very shortly, believe me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you 
in the next one.